he might nibble on my shoulder if I stay next to it. I gotta be careful. Huh. We just arrived at the Equine Therapy Center here in San Felipe. We're gonna keep here for a couple of days. It's in the desert of San Felipe. And um, they do equine therapy. He's gonna try to bite me. They do equine therapy sessions for kids at the local cam school. It's a handicapped school, so they bring kids out here and they give them lessons, and it helps with the disabilities and such. We're getting ready to go on a trail ride. This is gonna be my saddle. I don't know who I'm riding yet. She probably stick me on a green horse, is what she said. <laughs> Remember with Lindsay, it's all about horses. So as we were looking at places to connect with and volunteer and help get the word out about the organizations, this is one that was right up our alley. Well, right up Lindsay's alley. Yeah. When I heard about it, I was like, we're going, we're emailing her. We're gonna work this out, so. But when we were foster <laughs> parents, we lived on a ranch where equine therapy was a part of the program there. So this is something that's really close to heart for us and uh, definitely, definitely for Lindsay. Yeah. Awesome. I'm going to go to work. Part of what we do is just help out wherever we can and we're staying out here on this beautiful ranch and there's some things to do around here. So I'm going to go help Angel. We're going to move a cast iron bathtub and uh, it's gonna be, I guess, a water trough. It's a water trough. Yeah, so it's big, it's heavy, and we're gonna figure out how to do it. When in Mexico, do it the only way you can, <laughs> however you can. All right, here we go. Oof. No, oh, that thing is heavy. Um, Right. Yo comprendo que quiere. Right. Yeah. It might work. Ooh. We'll see if they break, they break, but you know, if it if they don't then Here, let me get one underneath the back so that we can actually, can you lift up the back and I can slide this under so yeah. we're not dragging? A little more, a little more. Okay, let's see if that works. Does it? It does. All right, so we'll, 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 our job is gonna be to replace them, okay? Gotcha. So as one goes out, the next one has to go in. It's durable, but it's heavy. There you go. <laughs> yep. You got it. I will. When I actually do the plumbing, I'll put it up on blocks, but here it's where it's supposed to be, so that's good. Perfecto. After a little bit of work at the ranch, we are going to go enjoy a little pool time. So Lynn, our host, has been awesome, and she's invited us to do everything that she and her friends do. So we're headed into the pool right now. we go do a little bit of relaxing. And then we've got an appointment in about an hour and a half or so where we're gonna meet the director of Sunshine Orphanage and talk about how we can get involved helping out there while we're in San Felipe. So for now, es domingo, let's go relax. Yes. <laughs> We're not quite ready to retire. We're a long way from that. 
But if we were ready to retire, this might be the place. No, we haven't even started. No, we haven't even started Baja. Just the beginning. What you got there? I'm ready to eat. What you got there? I'm hangry. Don't be hangry. I ate all my french fries. My papa sweet this. That's about the only thing we knew we ordered, huh? <laughs> yeah, because I have no idea what a torta was. This is a torta with steak. We asked if a torta was a sandwich, and she said no. It was a torta. But it kind of looks like a sandwich. <laughs> Uh, and this is a Mexican torta con papas fritas. Papas fritas. I don't know what's in there. <laughs> There's definitely beans. But I don't really care. I'm hungry. It's <laughs> gonna be delicious. I'm nowhere near as picky as Lindsay. It's got beans. Some kind of meat. Look at steak. Go Mexico. Mmm. Avocado. Oh, you just going to have a Nice. Mmm. I like it. It's a strange kind of bread. It's not really bread. Yeah. I guess that's what makes it a torta. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say yes. It's not a pizza bread. But it's similar. Not a hamburger bun. Yeah. Oh. That was good. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think it's in and out good, but it's good. Okay. That's enough. I'm gonna finish my meal. This picky over there hasn't even started yet. Nope. <clears throat> we'll check in with you later. What's going on over there? Getting ready for a moonlight ride. A moonlight ride? Mm -hmm. It's a full moon out there. And I've got horses. You so you're going on a car ride? No. No. I've got horses and there's a full moon outside. I'm gonna go saddle up. Lindsay. Go ride outside. Lindsay, it's dark. There's a full moon. It's dark outside. Nobody can see anything. This is what happens. When you're horse crazy and you meet up with another horse crazy person, you go out and do crazy stuff with horses. <laughs> it's always horses. It's always horses. <laughs> well, have fun. I will. Me and the dog. <laughs> Me and the dog are going to take a nap. Today's an exciting day. I'm really excited. This is kind of what we're here in San Felipe for. Yeah. And our very first volunteering experience. Formally. Formally, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what are we doing? We are going to help with giving therapeutic riding lessons to some disabled children that go to the local CAM school. It is a school just for severely disabled children. And so part of their therapy is getting to come out and ride the horses which helps stimulate the nerves in their body. It uh, connects the, the commands from their brain to the different parts of their body while they're, you know, kind of bouncing around on a horse. Most of the children also can't walk very well, so riding the horse actually stimulates the muscles, the same muscles that we would use for walking, and the horse's steps mimic that same walking, like how humans walk. So it's really good for children that can't walk and to use, help use those muscles. 
Lynn, the owner of the ranch and founder of the program, started the program about six years ago. It took about three years of um, processing the paperwork with the Mexican government. It is a formal nonprofit registered in Mexico. So after the paperwork, it's taken, uh, or she's, I guess, had three years of this program and has seen tremendous success. It runs year round, uh, except during the summer when it gets too hot. And then the kids get transferred over to the city pool. There's been arrangements to move down there. And so they get to do the same physical stimulus in the pool that they kind of would have on the horse. Mm -hmm. So this is a year round program. Lynn sustains it through volunteers, through donations, um, through her working, she continues to work on the side because this is her passion, her dream. And she takes her, her past in working with kids as an elementary school teacher and her love of horses and the two combined is just, it's going to be awesome to see. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go outside and get all set up with the other volunteers that have started to show up and we'll get ready for the kids. So, man, this is, this is cool. <laughs> The great thing about camping next to horses is we get to camp next to horses. The bad thing about camping next to horses is the flies are awful. We've come up with a few methods of removing flies from our camper. The first way involves a good old fashioned kitchen towel. Second step, we take it up a notch and it involves turning on the generator and getting our vacuum cleaner out. And the last method is a bit more complicated, so I think I'll just show you. 